back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also go ahead and hit that bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video i know youtube has been acting kind of funny with my page anyway because i haven't been as consistent so if you want to see all of my future videos go ahead and hit that bell so that you don't miss out Today I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about my head wrap that I have on my head right here and also some other head wraps I want to share with you guys and then if you stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to show you how I tied this head wrap right here onto my head. So I'll just go ahead and say this I've ordered head wraps from a ton of different places but this by far has been my favorite because a lot of times when I see head wraps, they have like a lot of different prints and things on them. And those are really fun, but sometimes I want to keep it simple and have like more toned down colors, more neutral colors. So when I came across the wrap life on Instagram, I noticed they had a bunch of those colors that I was looking for. So I kind of went in and I bought like five different, I think it's five, one, two, three, four five six i bought six different head scarves <laughs> um so six including the one i have on my head that makes six so i want to show you guys those head scarves so this one of course that i have on my head this is their green head scarf and the wrap life i'll go ahead and link their website down below the kind that I'm wearing on my head is actually the classic flow head wrap. I'm actually looking at the website right now so that I don't get it wrong because I ordered from two of their different um, head wrap styles because they have about three different ones. Yeah, they have three different head wrap styles. They have the classic flow head wrap, they have the firm head head wrap, and then they have the stretch flow head wrap. So I have one of their stretch flows and then the other ones are classic flows and they are really, really long and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Um, so that's why I'm able to do this head wrap style because sometimes you can get head wraps and they're not that long and you can't do too much with them. I mean, you can make them work, but it's so much easier when they're a lot longer. So yeah, this one that I have on my head is the classic flow head wrap. Um, the next one that I'm going to show you guys is a golden head wrap. So this is a classic flow as well. It kind of has like ribs, the rib print in it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really wide. Yeah, it's really wide. So that's what it looks like and it's really long, really long. Um, so yeah, this golden one is really nice um, and it's made the same way as this green one. The next one that I have is actually a rust burnt orange head wrap. Um, this one has, this is the classic flow as well, has the um, ribbed, ribbed print in it. It doesn't stretch, but it's really long and that's what I really love about these. It's coming up more reddish i guess or orange i can't really tell in the viewfinder but yeah it's more of like a rust burnt orange but this is made the same way as the one i have on my head as well the classic flow the next one i'm going to show you guys is a purple so this one is really pretty so it's more of a plum it's more of a plum so this one i also have from the wrap life this is the classic flow does not stretch Red print is in it. Let me see if I can get closer to show you. Yeah, it has the rib print. Super long. The material is really soft. I never have to worry about this tugging on my hair. I know a lot of times with natural hair, we worry about how things are going to be rubbing on our hair because we don't want breakage. Um, but yeah, these are really soft material. Um, it doesn't tug on my hair at all or anything like that. The next one I'm going to show you guys is actually a brown head wrap. So it kind of fell on the floor here. <laughs> so this is a dark brown head wrap. Like I said, they have the most like calm, um, kind of neutral colors. Nothing too bright and colorful. I mean, those are fun, like I said. <laughs> but sometimes I like to tone it down. Um, so yeah, this brown one made the same way. This is the classic flow. Super cute. Love the colors. 
And then this next one is actually not the classic flow. This is the stretch flow head wrap. So what's unique about the stretch flow head right wrap, <laughs> stretch flow head wrap, um, is that it stretches. So it stretches and it's just as long as the other ones, I feel like. Yeah, it's just as long as the other ones. Um, it's just as wide as the other ones as well. Just as wide. Um, but it stretches, so it makes it easy for you to tie it around your head um, and really get it nice and taut on your head. Um, I mean, the other ones, they get pretty tight as well, depending on how, you know, tight you tie it. But I always find that when I wear this black one, which I, I this one I wear the most because, I mean, it's a neutral color. But I always find when I wear this one that it gets really tight if I tie it really tight. So yeah guys, those are all of my head wraps. If you guys like any of these, let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is. Is it the brown? Is it the black? The rust orange, the plum, or the gold, or the green one that I have on my head. This one, I've been loving this one lately. This one is cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so last but not least, I wanted to show you guys how I actually tie this head wrap on my head. So if you are interested in seeing that, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so before I go to tie my head scarves, whenever I get ready to tie them up, especially like if I want my hair out at the top like how it is right now, I always make sure I grab something to tie my hair up. And what I'm using to tie my hair up is one of these little stretchy elastic goodie bands. Um, and I just put it on one time. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just want your hair up, basically. So I take my scarf and I just pay close attention to where the tag is on the scarf. And then I also make sure that the scarf is even. Because whenever you get ready to go to twist the scarf, you don't want it to be too, too long um, on one side. So the tag is actually, let's see how I have it. Okay, the tag is on the inside. So I have the scarf on the correct way. Just making sure that it is even. Then I'm going to take the scarf up my head like this. Taking it up because I don't want the back to be hanging too low. So, got it on my head. The whole back of my head is covered. Alright, so right now, I'm just making sure I don't tie any of my curls into the scarf. I'm going to tie this one time. I'm going to pull it pretty tight. And I'm going to go back through, kind of pull up my scarf a little bit. My, 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 not my scarf, my wrap. I'm going to pull up my scarf my wrap a little bit on the um, sides. I keep wanting to say scarf because I mean I tie, I don't tie a scarf on my head at night but I tie like a satin wrap on my head and I just call it a scarf. <laughs> Alright guys so I have this tied once just make sure you pull it as tight as you would like not too tight you don't want to have a headache um, and then you're just going to twist this all the way down. I twist pretty tightly and just make sure your tag is on the inside. You don't want that sticking out. So twist all the way down. And this is like the simplest way to tie a head wrap, I feel like. Like if you have an old wash and go or old twist out, the simplest way. You wrap that around. See how it's wrapped around? Then you're going to tuck it inside. If I can find the top of the scarf, guys. <laughs> then you're just going to tuck it inside. And it's secure. And then you fix your curls how you want your curls to be. If you have any hair out on the side, you can put some edge control to kind of, you know, slick your hair down. I don't have too much on the side. 
So I'm not worrying about it. I mean, I could slick that down, but I'm not worrying about it. All right, guys, so this is basically how I tie this head wrap. This is one of my favorite ways to tie it, like I said, because it's one of the easiest ways. If you guys would like to see more ways to tie a head wrap, let me know down in the comments, and then I can bring you some more ways that you can style these particular head wraps. Um, I will say I do have another video on my channel where I'll show you guys like seven different ways to tie a head wrap, but it was when I had box braids. So it was more so geared towards just when you have box braids. So if you want to see how I do it with my natural hair, just let me know. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.